Hey, this is Charlize the Nazi girl out here at Leica's new flagship store in New York City with General Manager Rob Terrell. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having us today, Rob. You're welcome, of course. Can you show us inside the store? Let's do it. Awesome. Welcome in. We have our cash desk here. This is our system manager, Sire, here. <laughs> we have the TV screen playing in the back with the, the rundown of uh, the products that we make and also a little bit of snippets of uh, Germany play on this reel here. Um, we start with the M cabinet as our first cabinet because wow. that's our bread and butter. Right. Um, that's what good, what's got us here. Um, got my M here. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> We've already got some some good customers in here. Um, then it evolves into the new thing that's launched, the SL3. Then going into Beautiful. the SL cabinet here. Then the compact systems with the new uh, Q3. We even have a uh, a new version open box of the Seal Edition Q2, the Don wow. by Seal. Um, then it goes into our second hand cabinet here. Um, oh, some okay. good mixtures of new and old. Uh, we actually have an M11 at the top. M11P open box um, with the new steel rim edition, which I know you have and I'm sure you're loving. And uh, then we have a, a pre owned Q2, an M10 monochrome with a Safari 28, which is kind of rare. Nice. Um, an original SL with a new 50 Sumacron and then the 50 Sumalux. So, um, can people come in and bring their used goods to, to sell here? Yeah, or? that will be the, the, the plan is to kind of do as what other Leica stores and flagships do uh -huh. with uh, buying and selling of new, new and used product um, to trade up or to get out of the system right. and get a little bit more flexibility to buy a new product. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, we'll be offering that here. Um, it's been a long journey for photography as it is with most. Um, I feel like my, my family got me into photography and the arts at an early age. I was always intrigued by photographs and, and so were my parents and, and my sister. Nobody was really like a photographer per se, but they were always in love with um, images and always printing images, which was great uh, for inspiration to, to look back at them. Um, I found myself in different career uh, paths with uh, being an automotive technician out of high school, went to vocational high school, then, uh, but still photography was like a mainstay throughout that. And as I um, worked into clothing, uh, luxury clothing retail, um, and that's when I found uh, Leica. Uh, we found each other in Los Angeles. Um, I was recruited to work at their store there um, where I was an assistant manager and, and really got to, to kind of mold uh, my passions into one um, of just good customer service and photography um, and an appreciation of the arts uh, to the fullest while still having a connection to, uh, to fashion and, and retail. Um, uh, both, both as an individual with my, the way you dress and the team dresses here, but uh, the way that we operate uh, outside of a, a, of a career path and how we just move and operate with how we represent ourselves and, and the way we uh, want to live our lives more creatively and, and freely. And then our sport optics for, for those who need binoculars or, or spotting scopes um, and everything in between for uh, the rangefinder for golf or for hunting, um, anything nice. you could ever want. And then let's get a sneak peek of the new gallery awesome. getting installed. We're excited. Uh, Elliot Irwin. We so. are excited. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So Beautiful. install just happened. You can still see the remnants of the construction and the installation tools here. Um, Elliot is obviously iconic globally, but especially in the city of New York. Right. Um, he's taken incredible images uh, Definitely. At, at different times of the year, obviously with the Macy's Day Parade um, and the, these iconic images of the Empire State Building and everything in between um, dances and uh, school dances and things like that uh, he has he has a lot of humor in his imagery which is great and i, I personally relate to that a lot because i like to laugh and 
at certain things. And this right. is a, this is a very uh, powerful, but could also be seen as a funny image here. Uh, wow. The doctor's kind of staring you down. Yeah. Um, so, I love it. Yeah. We have uh, the new Cine One here uh, in, with a built-in projector screen. This will be used for events like the opening. We'll have a video play on this as well as uh, the talk. There will be some images played here. Uh, the screen comes up out of the table and it's good that it retracts to reveal either another image or decal like we have of the Elliott photo here. Right. Um, nice. Then let's go in the back Okay. to a little VIP area. Ooh. So to me, Everyone has an eye, but not everybody knows how to capture it. Um, and, and I think that that's what makes uh, a brick and mortar space uh, with Leica or any camera brand or any camera shop really important um, is the ability to get your hands on product and, and, and show what you can do with that. Uh, to really understand photography more with a workshop that we offer here or um, uh, outside of this building with the different um, uh, academy leaders that we have uh, with Leica globally and, and more central to the states here. It, it's fun for me to, to understand uh, where a person comes from with their knowledge base, but also their their eye and how we can kind of cultivate their look a little bit more um, with, with our product here. This is really fun because you have... Okay, wow, your private another screen. Another same one, exactly. Private screening room. Um, where you can review images, um, review video taken with the SL2 or SL3 system now. Um, we even have done um, uh, a screening here with uh, Mark DePaula and Sade Backstrom, who've done a movie with uh, Emma, who is, uh, it's called A Stab at Heaven, it all shot on the SL system with M lenses. Wow. Um, so really nice. fun to, to see that happen. And, uh, it won't be truly open to the public, but it will be kind of something that we can offer as a, maybe a reservation basis down the line. Um, and obviously we have our Leica Hall of Fame uh, kind of feature here. Right. With some greats. Wow, um, beautiful. So, yeah. This will kind of remain like this um, indefinitely, but I'm sure we may add or um, move around some of the images of the store for, for this space. Right. Well, so I do have one question for yeah. you, and I know a lot of people are curious about this. Mm -hmm. How does one photographer give their awards in here? This is the, this is the <laughs> question that everybody loves to ask. Um, I don't fully have the answer because I'm not the gallery director. Gotcha. Um, uh, and I don't So there is a, a separate gallery director. Correct. For, and his name is Michael Foley. He's great. He actually has owned his own gallery in the city of New York for 17 wow. years. And we were able to kind of wrangle him into our team. Wow. And uh, he relinquished awesome. his gallery to run this one with me here at the store. Wow. Okay. Um, so really happy to have him. And uh, it's usually mapped out just like any other uh, gallery. Uh, globally, it's mapped out for the next 12 months or so, sometimes longer. Gotcha. I know Paris Chong in LA has wow. it kind of mapped out for two years. Right. Um, we've already begun doing that. Um, we were starting with kind of a masters of photography, but then sprinkling in some newcomers, like people who have won the Lobo or like a Women's Photo Project, uh -huh. will be kind of uh, really appreciated and, and can shine here in this space in New York. So I'm looking forward right. to that and those installations as, as the year goes on yeah. and beyond, because uh, we're not going anywhere. So That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just take a look upstairs. Okay. And then here is Michael Foley. We'll drive, we'll do a little pass by of Michael Foley here, our gallery director. This will be the, the right person to reach out to if you did want to have your work shown here at some point or have a curator session, a one-on-one -on -one, yeah. uh, uh, bespoke. Yeah. I'm meet to talk to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thanks, Michael. We will have even a little customer care center here where we'll do light uh, technical work, uh, sensor cleanings, and maybe eventually some uh, leatherette changes and hopefully beyond. I know the space is limited, but that wow. is the plan. In-house? Yeah, In-house, yeah. Nice. Even though we're so close to the office in Teaneck um, and customer care facility, right. this will be the, the long-term plan to start having a technician in here to really service things a lot more efficiently and, and, right. uh, and faster than uh, sending it out. Yeah, that's awesome. My favorite uh, combination uh, will vary. Uh, there's moods to it, but uh, right now it happens to be a lot of analog uh, driven work fr from me. Um, the M6 that I have here is uh, remarkable. It's, it's my go-to 
Um, it's not a new M6, but it actually was uh, from my birth year. Um, coincidentally, it was not, well, I didn't search it out, but it just happened to be that way, which is why it probably means more, more to me than most. Um, and then a lens that uh, is starting to catch on a little bit uh, that didn't get a lot of love is the 40 millimeter Sumicron. Um, it's something that we designed with the, uh, the CL system back in the day, the, the film uh, CL system um, with the Minolta um, kind of uh, partnership there. But uh, it's, it's great. Um, it's wide enough to where I can get some street photography, but close enough to, to get some decent portraits. And uh, it's really compact, as you can see. Um, really fun and convenient to grab and go. Um, and it looks great on film because it's not super tack sharp. It has some good character to it. Um, so that's kind of the, my main setup of late. Welcome to our new workshop and event space up here. Um, we're doing a little continuation of the install for the grand opening mm -hmm. of the tent space where we'll have an outdoor bar and some light catering. Um, we do have a kitchen that is fully functional uh, throughout uh, every day. We're open seven days a week. Um, no, the bar is not open seven days a week. Uh, it's only for events, um, but we do have a DJ booth that will be stationed here and definitely for events uh, awesome. and other workshops um, and a resource library uh, that we've had curated initially by Todd Heido. Um, and okay. that will continue to be kind of a revolving reference um, for uh, customers and just uh, visitors of the store to come by. Um, I selfishly got the bare brick that was at our oh Teaneck office gosh. space nice. to be uh, loaned here. <laughs> and, uh, and then I got a, a cool bulldog to match the Elliot Erwitt uh, exhibit. Um, and we have books that are for sale from Elliot. Um, these are direct from the estate. Um, and wow. we have a contact sheet of the photo of the year um, and how that was captured, which is really fun to look at, I as well as that. another contact sheet by Elliot Erwitt over there on display uh, of photographs of Marilyn Monroe, which are incredible. And um, it's just really great to see all the works. I've actually haven't looked through all these books before um, we had them. So it's nice to, to kind of see different uh, titles that I uh, never got a chance to look at or didn't have time to kind of discover. Mm -hmm. So obviously I knew about the, the Paris by itself, this book, but to see the Paris and New York and then the Rome and even Scotland photos are really special from Elliot. And then of course we have uh, uh, an arrangement of different photographers highlighted here. Um, again, we have Mark DePaula, who's, who's become a good friend, uh, but then uh, we have pretty much anyone you could think of will be kind of coming and going and featured here, um, as well as some really fun, like the Photographer's Playbook, which is a book that I personally have owned. Um, and it's just fun to have prompts to, to go out and shoot if you're lacking that inspiration or motivation naturally. Right. As we all do, we go through the ebb and flow of that. Right. But uh, then we have, of course, T Todd Heido's uh, kind of main titles that he has out right now. Mm -hmm. um, he will be uh, announcing a book, I believe, later this year. He will be one of our featured gallery uh, photographers wow. uh, later this year, I okay. believe in September. So How exciting. Yeah. So I'm super excited to be here and I can't wait for everybody to come by and, and check us out and, and really just have a, have a second home, a home away from home, yeah. just like LA was, uh, as you guys remember right. me there. And um, yeah, I'm looking to establish kind of a good community here of just uh, a, a safe place to be and a good hangout spot. Definitely. Um, brand awareness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hear that this store is built on the brand new store concept. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. So this is what we call our 2.0 concept obviously nothing was truly wrong with 1.0 but um, we want to adapt and evolve and make it more of a workshop a place just like the flagship in los angeles right. um, to have really uh, the one-stop shop for anybody to learn about photography mm -hmm. learn about our brand right. um, and uh, and get to see the latest lineup uh, we might not always have it in stock but we at least have it on display mm -hmm. to showcase and uh, and give people that that uh, hands-on experience that they wouldn't get if they went to another retailer or if they lived in a city that really doesn't have a like a store which right. uh, hopefully we're coming to a city near you soon um, <laughs> with the next location um, mm -hmm. but i think in new york proper we needed this sort of uh, establishment of a flagship um, i think we could probably have five like a stores in the city wow. um, there's wow. that much demand with the the amount of photographers in the city and, okay. and to really shine and and, and uh, appreciate uh, the community that's built us into the right. a really iconic brand that we've we've built here, not only globally, but specifically in this city, how much it means to the, the photographic world. Yeah, so, yeah. that's great. Yeah. yeah, it definitely gives me, like it, it has such a different feel compared to the LA store, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The LA store looks very clean. It's very, 
what's the word? It like very pristine, like gallery type, you know. Yeah. But this is more like this suits New York City so much. You Definitely know, with the, the brick monochromic walls. Uh, vibe, but also with exactly. the exposed brick. And uh, this is all original wood from uh, the prior building uh, owner. Uh, who now it's a new ownership. We don't own this building, but we're living in it and uh -huh. we're in a uh, great collaboration with the current owners. Um, we have these massive prints from Horse Taman from Vetslar. These are taken. I'm sure you guys recognize this because you've been there. Um, definitely. This is, and some of the viewers have probably been here. And if, uh, if not, it's definitely a must visit to, to visit Lights Park in Vetslar, Germany. Um, it's really special to, to either stay at that hotel or just visit the, uh, the museum, the gallery, uh, the classic store. Yeah. Um, do a tour if you can. Um, they're really fun to, to just pop in and, and get to know the people behind the brand who, who really make the product and uh, and spend a lot of time making it perfect, uh, like right. a 35 Apple lens that takes a few months to, to develop uh, every lens element for perfection, right. um, or a binocular that may take uh, six months. Um, I know a lot of our binoculars are now made in Portugal, but some are still manufactured in, in Germany. So. Uh, as well as all your repairs, uh, a lot of repairs for the, the S system, the SL, um, and even M pairs, M repairs that are at local um, to uh, Europe are, are um, serviced there. So uh, really fun to visit there. But also uh, any of our stores globally will, will take care of you. And um, it's a lot of fun to, to pop into a store and, and see what the latest product or how things are set up, as you guys know, right. travel to Definitely. all these different locations to see what's new and, um, and, and the, the team. Uh, that represents that space and, yeah. uh, and how uh, everyone has their own view of the brand and how they right. can take their photography to the next level by working here or, or working in the community. The vision here is, uh, and I know I'm gonna probably ruffle a lot of feathers at corporate, it's not to sell things. <laughs> if that happens, great, but uh, it really is to, to give back to the community here in New York and how much it's meant to photography. Um, it, this city means everything um, to across the globe. It is, again, the epicenter of, of not only fashion, but photography. A lot of photographers uh, have come and gone through here and um, some are still local to here and, and make this their home. And um, It's endless possibilities with street photography, with fashion photography, um, with portraiture and headshots, with all the, the acting that occurs here. And, and um, it's really just, uh, it, it's pretty much the crown jewel of, of everything. Um, inspiration is found around every corner and every bodega, every street corner. Um, it's it's great to see all the tourists come and go here and, and photograph and everybody's got a different perspective. There could be a lot of similar photos taken, but I think there's a lot of photographers out here really pushing that and, and challenging angles um, and getting different looks and opinions um, of the city. So. Wow, thank you for that wonderful tour. You're making me not want to leave New York because I mean, this store looks like such a wonderful store for photographers, not just to check out new gear, but also to collaborate and look at new art. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the goal. So <laughs> hopefully you never leave. We're keeping her. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, alrighty, you've been knocked up today and we're really knocked out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye <laughs>